Here's some really fun chemistry. The chemistry is the coating on the outside of the spheres. Howdy! Welcome to the next installment of Garage Science. And today, Bob and I are going to look at hand blasters. Now, these are nice little toys that are given out. We, you buy them right around uh, 4th of July, things like that. And they're a lot of fun. They're not dangerous. Uh, they, they show a lot of good chemistry. Now, they're basically made of a clay ceramic uh, sphere coated with glue, powdered glass. Now, powdered glass is there for a purpose. We'll talk about that. You use uh, powdered glass on uh, paper like this called sandpaper. Now, a lot of times it's not sand on there. It's actually ground up quartz, which is sand, glass, it's the same chemical uh, compound. They just use it on there to get friction. That's what we're going to use it for also. Uh, also, potassium chlorate and sulfur. So all those things are mixed on there, and they're sold in twos like this. Here's what happens. When these things collide, kinetic energy is changed to friction because of the, the roughness of the surface. That will break this down. That should help you figure out what kind of chemical reaction this is, other four kinds of chemical reactions. Potassium chlorate breaks down into potassium chloride, all right, which is a salt, and oxygen. This oxygen is given off. All right. Well, sulfur also is heated up with the same friction that potassium chlorate is heated up. So both these reactions are going on simultaneously. Sulfur grabs the oxygen and turns into sulfur oxide. That's the burnt match, fireworks. Uh, if you're lucky enough to go muzzleloader hunting and actually get a chance to actually fire your muzzleloader, uh, that's that sulfur smell that you smell at the end there. And so... This is pretty good. It's got, uh, it gives off a lot of energy, so that should tell you what kind of exo or endothermic reaction it is. You should be able to figure out which kind of these reactions are and balance this one. This is a lot of fun to balance. Um, you'll enjoy quite a bit trying to balance that one. Okay, so let me demonstrate to see if I can actually get these things to work for you. Uh, Bob would show you, but Bob, Bob doesn't have any hands, so uh, I'll, I'll do demonstrating for you. Basically, two ways you use these things. The first way is you can hold them like this. I'm feeling kind of awkward right there. Feeling like that. If you just hit them together, hear that? That's the reaction you get, and you can smell the sulfur. At least I can. Okay. Another way to do it is to throw it up in the air and catch it with the other one. Now I'm not, I get about one out of ten, so this could take a while. So get a sandwich and sit down. This is going to take a while. Yeah, there we go. There you go. See, that works. Um, so, get a set of these, learn some chemistry, and have some fun at the same time. Thank you, and we'll see you next time in the garage.